Hey everybody, I'm Chris Leifert here uh, at the Psychotherapy Networker Symposium on Creativity Day. Thanks so much for joining us. This is the first of our series in our series of uh, Facebook Live videos. I'm joined today by Courtney Armstrong. Courtney, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Courtney is a trauma specialist. She focuses on using creative strategies in the treatment of trauma. Um, Courtney, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your work? Yes, uh, I've been a therapist for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I started out working with kids and adolescents, and I loved it, but then I soon realized to really have an influence, I needed to work with the adults, the parents. And so then I got into working with adults, especially adults who had experienced trauma. And interestingly, I found a lot of the stuff that I did with the kids actually worked with adults too. Mm -hmm. And so what I like to teach therapists about is how you can actually evoke positive emotional states in your clients. Mm. We're taught so much, especially in trauma therapy, to focus on the pain. Mm. And you do need to validate the pain, you know. Um, so I don't suggest we like jump into, you know, silver linings too quickly. However, what we actually know from neuroscience in theories of state-dependent learning and mood congruency is that if we just stay focused on the pain, your mind will actually scan for anything similar it will narrow your focus and it's like you get more and more information about all the bad stuff that's happened in every area of your life. Mm. So I actually learned through working with the kids and through my training in hypnosis, which mm. is another thing that I integrate when working with people, but I use hypnosis to evoke that desired state. So mm. what, I, what I'm teaching at the networker this year is how you transition from validating the pain to moving your client towards imagining what's desired. Mm. So it's not that we're gonna be Pollyanna about it, but, but what I'm teaching is one technique I call a tune, lift, and lead. Okay. So if you were to come and tell me that you've been struggling with depression, I would attune to you, and, but I would use what I call a has-been tense change. I wouldn't say, oh my goodness, you're really depressed and you can't get out of bed and mm -hmm. you can already tell it's starting to bring you down the more I highlight all right. the stuff you can't do. Right. So the little subtle trick with that is you say, my goodness, so you've been struggling with this depression mm -hmm. and what you'd really like is to feel like you can be yourself again, sure. like you can access energy and hope and move forward. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that feel better? Yeah, <laughs> so, sounds great. <laughs> so that's how we... And it's not that I respond to every statement the client makes with that. Yeah. It's just at some point in the session, if you can find a way to segue and summarize it, I'm always listening for where they've been mm -hmm. and what they really want. What's their, what are they longing for? And yeah. they don't always articulate it or they don't know how to. So mm -hmm. if you ask them directly, so what, how do you want to feel? They're mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, I don't know. Cause they're just stuck in a, hole right now you know yeah, yeah. so a lot of times we have to kind of suggest it and just mm -hmm. throw something out there mm -hmm. but in a gentle compassionate way sure and the other thing that's really exciting that i'll be talking about is barbara fredrickson's work she talks mm -hmm. about the positivity ratio okay. and has this uh, broaden and build theory and so what she, her positivity ratio has taught us that for every one negative experience you need to access three positive emotions to kind of offset it. Okay. And that's really hard to do. And But what she emphasizes, it's not about thinking positive. Mm -hmm. And, and you, we have to affirm what's happening, acknowledge this is really bad or this is really hard what I'm going through. Yeah. And then make an intention to simultaneously let yourself look for, even though this is really bad right now, at least the sun is shining or I mm -hmm. have a beautiful child or where's the opportunity or gift in this that I can also acknowledge that actually helps us access a creative problem solving state of mind okay. and will help you pull out of it faster. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Courtney. We thank really you. appreciate Thanks, it. Chris. Okay. For all of you yeah. out there, thank you so much for joining us. We'll have another Facebook live interview at 2 PM with Esther Boykin. Hope to see you then. Thanks so much.